Hey guys, today I would like to share you how to downgrade your iPhone 5s or your older iPad mini 2. Uh, with this one it only works on S1 devices. They were both came with S1 chips. Now um, this is my iPhone 5s and I'm gonna downgrade it from um, iOS 12 back to 10.3.3 and now you can see um, the software version on my iPhone 5s is 12.5.3 uh, which is the latest one but we're gonna downgrade back to 10.3.3 with this method it only work on Mac and if you have Windows it doesn't work so um, the software is only built for Mac now before you begin the process you need to install additional software uh, before you can get it down to work because it requires uh, uh, some software that you need to install and then uh, you need to go to this link uh, it is from Apple uh, lead down it is a require command line tool all you have to do is uh, go to this website the first time that you click on this website it will require you to uh, enter your Apple ID so um, all you have to do just enter your Apple ID uh, email and password and you should be able to go to this link and then uh, you need to search for command line now you can see a bunch of them uh, depend on the version here so you need to download the one that uh, compatible with your um, OS 8 version like for me here um, like for me I am on a Max OS Catalina the version is 10.15 the one that worked for me is a command line tool for Xcode uh, 11.5 this is the one that compatible with my uh, Max OS 8 version so it is depend on uh, your version that you are currently on and then uh, you need to go ahead and install like I can just simply open it and you can see it is uh, just like that and then I can just open and all you have to do um, hit on continue continue again hit on agree and then hit on install and then you need to enter your Mac passcode once software is done and we have two more to go now uh, simply just close it and um, now to get it down to work you need to have a homebrew install on your Mac um, just go ahead and go back into your browser and you can search for homebrew now uh, from homebrew here uh, you're gonna see like the command line on the top just simply hit on this little button to copy the command line and then go back to your terminal and then on your terminal here just simply uh, paste the command line that you have just copy from homebrew website and hit on the return key and make sure your Mac is connected to the internet as well and then um, it also require the password uh, for your Mac so I can just simply enter my uh, Mac password and then hit on return key so one more step is uh, press on return key one more time and then all you have to do just wait for this process to finish it is going to download everything and uh, one more thing make sure your Mac is connected to the internet as well um, otherwise um, it doesn't work and fail and now you can see like something moving around here so just wait for it after it is done uh, you should be able to see your name here and then like the percentage here so now we need to install the lib usb to make it uh, to make your phone compatible with your mac while uh, you are connecting your phone so now you need to type brew space install and then uh, lib lib and usb and lastly hit on return key one more time and then it is going to be installed now you can see it is fully working on mine so now um, all you have to do close the terminal and now let me close down uh, lead down and then um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you uh, one last step is to install lead down uh, now go back to the website here so everything is including in my video description now to download lead down is to click on this button and then go into here lead down a 1.0.5.dmg file and now it is downloaded at the bottom uh, hit on show in finder double click to open now you need to drag and drop lead down into application folder uh, for me because i have already installed it before so i can just simply hit on replace and now uh, let me close down the browser and let's go back and search for lead down from my spotlight hit on return and now uh, for some reason if you see like um, it's so uh, lead down is damaged like this so hit on cancel and now go back to your browser 
and now let me go back here and at the bottom you're gonna find um, like the code here so now uh, you need to copy this and then uh, go back to your terminal and paste the command line that you have just copied at the moment and hit on return and now it is done now you should be able to launch the down uh, let me go back to the down here hit on return and now you can see it is fully working so now um, another one is to uh, select 10.3.3 IPSW file for your iPhone 5S um, with this method uh, it only works with 10.3.3 if you want to downgrade now uh, let me go back into here so this is where you can download uh, an IPSW so now I can just hit on my iPhone and scroll down you need to find uh, for the iPhone 5S for me it is a GSM version I can just go ahead and scroll down here you're gonna find 10.3.3 hit on this button and then scroll down a bit and you need to copy to clipboard and open in a new tab and paste it and then hit on return you should be able to see that it is download at the bottom but I'm gonna cancel it because I have already done it so now it's time to downgrade so first uh, you need to put your iPhone 5s into DFU mode so now I'm gonna go ahead and hold on the power button uh, plus the home button for 10 seconds until uh, the screen goes black and then release the lock button but keep holding the power button until you see the iTunes pop up When your phone is successfully put in DFU mode, you're gonna see it is black black screen like that. And on your Mac, you're gonna see iTunes pop up. So don't worry about it. Just close it down, close it, and now go back to lead down. Select 10.3.3 IPSW. Uh, for me, it is going to be on download that I have downloaded before. Now let me go ahead and find it. So right there, 10.3.3. Uh, hit on open. Uh, one more thing that I would like to mention, make sure you have at least 5 to 6 GB of your Mac space. Um, otherwise, it is going to be failed because it is um, going to create a custom IPSW file. And now uh, you can see it is like that. Hit on downgrade. And now um, hit on continue. And you can see this uh, to exploit version. So if you are using a new Mac, hit on the right one. But if you are using an old Mac, hit on the left one. So now I'm gonna hit on the right one. And all you have to do is just wait for this process to finish. It may take a while, about like 10 to uh, 20 minutes. Here is the last step, let me set up it real quick, I'm gonna speed it up so you don't have to wait.
Now you can see my iPhone 5s has been downgraded to iOS 10.3.3. So if I go ahead and go into setting, general and about, and you can see right there, it is now on 10.3.3. This is an untaker method. Even though you power off your iPhone 5s and turn it back on, it is still on 10.3.3. And um, thanks for watching. I hope this video will help you. Then I will see you guys in the next one.